Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have my 2020 Project Live Week 8 process video for you using the Studio Calico February Documenter Kit. Now this is a busy week for us, so I have one, two, three inserts in here. I did lose um, some of the footage from the end of one of the um, inserts, but I'll go ahead and walk you through what I did there. So I put my pictures in semi-chronological order. I'm going through the general week first, and then I'm going to do the little events that went on throughout the week into my little inserts, and I'll explain that as we go. So as I put my things in semi-chronological order, then I go through the um, Studio Calico Documenter Kit and go through the journaling cards to see which cards I want to use. First, I determine if I want a filler card or if I wanted or if I'm going to do a little bit or a lot of bit of journaling. So I go ahead and go through those um, and I also decide which title card I want to use and my title cards are always that the very left 3 by 4 card that's where I document which week it is. I don't put the dates on the title card because I do date every photo and journaling card in my um, layout. So I'm using the Felicity Jane Madison Alpha Stamps. These are tiny puffy stickers, which I absolutely freaking love. I've ordered more of these because they're so perfect and they're so small. So I'm going to use my Stays On ink to stamp um, my date as well as stamping onto pictures. I do end up having to re-ink my ink pad because it did end up being dry, but you'll see that here in a little bit. I go ahead and use my uh, mini snips from the Tim Holtz to cut off the end of the heart because I like things hanging off the edge. I am using the print and cut labels from Studio Calico and these colors match the kit perfectly so I do download these every month and print and cut labels so that I can um, journal onto my photos as well. I'm using a Zebra Sarasa vintage dark gray pen here and I messed up and so I'm doing it again and in this first one I wrote it's Ski Week for Kaya met at Rock and Jump with Quinn and Tyler and this is a still I took from the video I have of them so the picture's not great but I don't care because I'm just trying to capture bits of my life it's not something that I'm going to enlarge I'm also looking at the ticket stubs that I have and usually we don't get ticket stubs anymore because we always get um, we order online and so you just scan what's on your phone but since we did actually get ticket stubs I wanted to include them here my daughter and I went on a mommy and me date to watch Frozen 2 so I document just a grainy grainy photo of us in the movie theater and I wrote uh, for this journaling card, blinged Dan Kaya's dance jacket with maniac and maniac costume with Swarovski crystals. And you'll see on her love to dance jacket, I glued every single piece of Swarovski crystal onto her jacket. And I also did her flash dance costume here. It took hours and hours, and I actually really enjoyed it. I haven't blinged out an out outfit in a really long time. I'm going through the stamp sets to decide if I want to stamp anything because I want to put something right in the middle there with the journaling card. And I end up going through some of my stash and I found a bow that I'm just going to put into the middle of that. Because it is so girly to have bling and, and all that. And with three boys, I'm, I love blinging out every little thing that I possibly can. <laughs> now here's this bottom picture. I have this shirt that says Kaya's mom. I made a shirt that says Kaya's mom. And for Carrie's mom, I wrote made one for her that says Carrie's mom. Our daughters are the only five-year-olds that were competing solos at the dance competition. So I wanted to, you know, we're no longer, I'm no longer Pearl. I'm now Kaya's mom at the dance studio. <laughs> So I'm going through the Studio Calico Alphas that came with the kit and I wrote Rock and Jump on that photo of my daughter with her friends because that's where they went to the trampoline park. And then I'm going to go to the second half of my layout here and I'm going to go through this one. And the top picture is of my daughter. She's making um, cards for her secret dancer here and also for the big girls that she's known all her life. So I wrote on this card with my Zebra Sarasa Vintage Dark Gray Pen, Kaya made a good luck card for Little Page. We have a little page and a big page and a little book and a big book and yeah, it gets confusing, but everyone knows who they're talking about. 
Now on this photo, my daughter fell asleep on the stairs watching her iPad after the dance competition. And I thought this was just perfect. Now this is where I mess up. So I want to use the February memory stamp on and stamp it onto the stairs. And you'll see here, my ink is dry. See how I had to peel that off? So I'm trying to re-ink it on top to see if I can get it to get do a better ink. And it doesn't work. So I keep trying again. <laughs> Persistence, right? I'm not giving up. But what I end up doing is I end up reprinting the photo and um, I re-ink the stamp pad and then I'm going to stamp it out again. And it comes out perfectly this time. I don't re-ink this on, on the clip. I think I did that off camera and then I'm going to re-ink that. So. You'll see here that I'm trying to stamp again, and this time it works out much better. So I'm going to throw that away and then get the new photo and re-ink it. Sorry, my camera keeps moving every time I stamp onto the, try to ink my stamp. I clean off my stamp using a stamp chamois. I love that thing. Um, it's not for stays on ink, but I do go ahead and use it anyway, and it looks really dirty, but it works beautifully and it doesn't get on my hands. And then I'm going to date the date stamp the uh, this particular photo. Then I'm going to go on to my loves list. So for this, I wrote um, first dance competition, gold elite, so she got second place, matching flip flops, mammy, petty, extra foot scrub, and black on black leopard. That's the nail polish I got, the black on black leopard print. And then I'm going to use the New World Drops in Dandelion Yellow, and I'm going to check mark all of the squares on the left hand side for check, 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 check. And I love that. Um, it adds extra dimension to it, and um, I do need to set it aside to dry, but it's such a great um, addition to give dimension to the kit and texture, different texture as well. I don't usually like to go too much out of this kit. Because if I give myself too many options, I have a hard time deciding what to use. So if I limit my option, options to just the kit, I recognize that I get done with the layout so much quicker. And uh, it's better for me all the way around. <laughs> At least that's what I've noticed. So that's one thing that I um, recognized about myself. And so now I just get the Studio Calico kit just for my project life. And I don't use anything else. And... It works out beautifully for me. I do miss shopping for scrapbooking supplies, but um, I do get the Felicity Jane scrapbooking kit, so that um, helps with that shopping. And every once in a while, I'll go ahead and go to scrapbook.com or Cherry on Top or one of those other online places and order some other scrapbooking supplies, but I limit myself on that so that I can use the supplies that I get monthly. So on this February stories, reflections, memories, and little bits of life, I documented part, Kaya participated in a first dance competition at Revolution. She danced to the song Maniac. I think I was more nervous than her. She did an amazing job and got Gold Elite, second place. As a reward or special treat, we went and got Manny Petties. She got an extra long foot scrub. These ladies at the salon love her so much that she loves getting her foot scrubbed, you know, with the pumice stone. And so they just kept scrubbing her feet while they were working on me. That was so generous and kind of them. So I do recognize that. So here's my first insert. It's we went to Disneyland with our family friends. And this is the first time we had all gone together. And so my family, the kids and I stayed there overnight and our friends met us there the next day. Um, we try to get up early enough to get tickets to go to the new Star Wars. I don't know what it's called, but we didn't get there early enough. So we were not able to ride that ride that day while we were there. And now with COVID, I don't know what's happening with our annual passes, but that's neither here nor there. So what I did was I took a style A or design A and I cut it to a 6 by 12 so that this will be an insert because how I like to do my inserts is I like to have my week on a two 12 by 12 layouts and anything that happens during the week is on a smaller page protector. 
So this particular Disneyland event, I'm putting on a design A that I'm cutting in half. So it has the four by six, two three by fours and four by six. So that's gonna have that front and back. And this is just for the Disneyland um, event. So the first one is a picture of my daughter and myself. And then the second one is a picture of the kids at California Adventure. And the bottom one is of um, the kids at the Star Wars. We walked through there first to take pictures there. And I'm counting the letters to see how many letters I need to spell out Disney on the top of the journaling card. And then I wrote out, late Sunday, we left for a weekend at Disneyland. We got to California Adventure around 3 p.m. All the fast passes were gone. The boys waited in line for Incredicoaster for over two hours. All the lines were super long. We had dinner, then went to check into our hotel. One ride. The poor kids, they got one ride. I think they, they were actually in line for almost three hours. Now, before I put these photos into the page protectors, I look at the embellishments and decide what I want to put on the this layout. I um, decide to put a heart and stamp or not stamp, staple that to the picture of my daughter and myself. I like to use a tiny attacher to add texture and I don't like to use um, glue or adhesive onto those um, acetate pieces because you can see through them. I do decide to stamp onto this photo of the boys at the Star Wars exhibit or Star Wars land and I stamp happy note using um, stays on ink onto the top of that photo. And I use my stamp chamois to clean that as well. And the thing that I really like about the stays on ink is it dries quickly so I can just put it right into the page protector. Okay, so I put the stamps away and then I'm gonna go to the second half or the back of that page protector. And here's a picture of all of us. I put a date on it and I'm gonna put a chipboard sticker onto that as well. I damp, damp, stamp <laughs> the date onto all the photos because we were at Disneyland the whole second day. And on loving all of this, I wrote one ride at California Adventure, one day at Disneyland, second day at Disneyland, Tam's joining us at Disneyland, and easygoing kids. I don't take for granted that these kids are so easygoing and that it makes it so easy for the two families to hang out together. I put another heart onto the picture of the kids and I at in front of the uh, palace. And then I want to stamp love this onto the top right hand corner of that photo. And I used the stays on ink for that as well and cleaned that off with the stamp chamois. And I made it a habit to put my stamps away as soon as I use them because I have in the past lost stamps because I don't put them away right away. I keep looking at the stamps to see what else I want to um, put on there and I decide not to do anything else and so I put this um, these photos into the page protectors. After I do that I also want to um, put an Avery index tab onto the insert so I'm going to go through my Avery index tabs. I have the one and a half and the two inches as well. And I decide to use, I think this is the two inch one, and I use the Felicity Jane Essentials stamps. And I think this one is the number one. And I wrote, or not I wrote, I stamped This Makes Me Happy. And I'm using, um, I rub it and I make sure that uh, the stamp will stamp cleanly onto the tab. see and I'm using the VersaFine ink pad because the VersaFine stamps fine detail just beautifully and it looks so good. So I stamp that and I'm going to put that index tab onto this insert. Now moving on to the second insert that I have. This is of my daughter's um, dance competition. Now these photos were taken by the professional photographer that was there so I'm just putting it them into a design G and I just made the pictures into black and white because the stage was so yellow. So these are the different photos from her um, competition and on the back side of that I just have pictures just candidates from throughout the day 
there you'll see that right there and there you have it that is my week eight of my project life thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time